Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, I like to reveal cases and um, I believe the case is just like the coat or the suit jacket you put on. No matter what you put inside, if the outside does not look good, no one is going to ask you or want to know more about whatever you put inside. So even though you're putting on a 10,000 wash or whatever, jacket or tie if the coat or the suit does not look nice no one is going to walk to you and say hey what do you have inside there so no matter how much money you spend on uh, building your computer you buy a very expensive motherboard or you buy expensive ram or cpus or whatever they are going to be inside a case and if your case looks very good or very nice then people will be you know oh, i like your case so what do you have inside so if you say this is what i have and it's it's, it's ten thousand or it's five thousand or it's one thousand and the case looks not really good looking not attractive no one is going to bother about whatever you put inside so what i have today is the MSI M100R gaming case. Gaming case, mostly every case is a gaming case depending on how or uh, whatever you build inside. Uh, but this one is because of the airflow. It has great airflow. It's a mesh case. We have mesh in front of it. Nice airflow on top, the back and under it. On this side is a tempered glass, which you know it it beautifies whether if you have rgb uh, inside it shows the the rgb in a very glorious and beautiful way and the back is just a normal panel uh which is solid well built so us most of you have known uh about what we do here um i talk about the look of the case how you can access the inside to be able to clean it up uh, some of you might have bought your computer as a pre-build and you have it maybe under the table or beside the table for some time It's dirty and you need to clean to get the dust out of it So for our ladies and our guys that don't know how to probably open their own case So I'm here to help you out and to be able to get inside your case to clean it out It's good to clean your case once in a while maybe once a month or once in two months and uh, depending on where you put it because when there is too much dust on the fan it doesn't do the proper job it's supposed to do so here is what we have the msi case is a nice msi case it's cheap it's under 60 dollars 60 pounds 60 euros and i like to review those cheaper case so you know you have other opportunities or other options out there to get your computer looking fresh and good um probably you don't need to change it uh every year you if unless you like to just switch cases every year get rid of the old one and get yourself a new one and you don't want to spend or break the bank just getting a good one so this is a very very good case i like this case it's not very big it's very very compact not very very long um i'm gonna show you a preview with it with uh, the other msi case so you can understand what i'm saying the wide, the length, and the weight are in just great ones where you put it on top of your table. You see, it doesn't occupy too much space uh, due to the small low foreign factor. What we usually do is, how do you get in front, into the front panel? I've done some videos about how to open your front panel. I'm going to do it on this one too. Firstly, I'm going to remove the panel. I've opened this case before. So this is not the first time because I first recorded this video without an audio. So that's why I'm, I'm going to try to do it again. Uh, the, to remove the tempo glass, just slide it backward after you remove the thumb screws that comes with it. It's much easier to remove. They are not very difficult. And you have the tempo glass yeah bye yeah you can see if you look you can see through that is really really clear you can see the inside of your component and the rgb will be shining and glowing and nice so here we have the panel i'm going to remove the other side panel also oh um, mind you if you're interested to know what kind of motherboards uh, fit this case ats motherboard 
and that, that, that is the full ATS mana, but will not fit in this case. Uh, the only one that will fit in is starting from the M ATS case and the SF case, uh, uh, M ATS motherboard, sorry, and the SF motherboards that will fit inside. Anything beyond the M, uh, M ATS motherboard will not fit inside. So I've removed the two panels and we are gonna try to get into this case. Then I'll talk about some other stuff uh, we have in the case. As usual, I said any case loaded, filled up, just teeth it up. You're gonna see a shape under here or, or a hole where you can dip in your hand to pull it out. All you have to do is fill it, put your hand in the hole, on the top so it doesn't fly away and use some force to pull it out just gently pulling it out don't worry it's not gonna break you're gonna feel it's gonna snap but it's not if you see none of them is being none of them have snapped all are intact as long as you pull it out rightly you may be wondering what is this cable so what makes this case different from the other mim msi case is this instant loop light loop control button that is on top here before we usually have uh, the reset button cable connecting to the con rgb control panel at the back here for you to circle through the rgb lights uh, I think MSI just thought it doesn't make sense using the reset button when you, the reset button has its own job, but you now delicate it by wasting it and putting it here. So now they have done a very great job making a delicate button over here for the reset button, which goes straight into the place where the reset button used to go, controlling it, which is just um, on top here. Um, I will be able to show in depth on that for anyone that wants to see. Probably I'll make a shot or so for you for the connection so you can understand um, how to connect it if you remove yours and you'll find a way to get it back. So that is what makes this case a little bit special than the other case. So if you are having trouble um, in connecting it, drop a comment down there. I will be sure to reply to it. So you can remove this. It's made of melter in case you want to paint it in some other color you want it a little bit the DIY and stuff like that um, I don't have enough equipment to be able to show you the result or the airflow but it has a great airflow and um, yeah it cools the system very well um, so that is just something that is very great I'm gonna put it aside here and I'm gonna talk about the fan this case comes included with four fans RGB fans. We have three in the front and we have one in the rear and they are all RGB and you can have as many as eight fans. That's 120 fans in this case. You can have two more on top and on this hard drive, uh, on this power, drive, power supply shirt, you can also have two or you can use it for hard drives or something like that, you can install it. But fans can actually go in there also. So 120 millimeter fans will go. So you can have a total of eight. How do you power them? Um, here comes, it comes with a control panel for the RGB and this control panel takes six actually. And how do you control the other two? There are other, if I'm gonna remove one of these fans and you can see, there are extensions like loops that you can use to connect to other two fans. So you just connect them and they will be working as just one fan to be honest with you. But B, because it's just for the RGB, it's gonna like work as normal as you want them to do. Or you can actually get an orb to control them. Um, when I'm gonna be doing this demonstration for you to see, I'm gonna be using a hub. And you, so because I want the fans, uh, because there's no controller for the fans here, you have to find a way to control the fan. It's either you put them on the motherboard, that is if you have enough header on the motherboard. And we all know that micro ATS uh, cases or MATS cases does not have enough headers for you to do that. So basically, you are going to have a fan hub to be able to control uh, your fans. That's for the fans to be able to work actually. So that is one more stuff you gotta buy. So um, if you're worrying about the power supply, the power supply here, 
there's enough room for cable management because if you look at it very well under here they have a small hard drive bay which one hard drive will go inside and the other one will go on top and all the other space are dedicated for cable management so you can be able to control uh where and how to arrange your cable there's enough space with it so it's not going to be a little bit messed up so if you zip tie them very well or you micro type them very well you're going to arrange your cable in this case in a proper way there's enough space in between the uh the motherboard bay and the back of the case so it takes enough room you see there's enough room for your cables to go inside so you can tie them very well and make them look neat if you're interested in uh, getting them neat so there isn't much to talk about we still have the power button on top we have the reset button which now is going to be working for the reset on your motherboard uh, we have the light that is the led indicator for the hard drive old-fashioned but it still there is working we got the in and out for the audio and we have three usb type a one is 3.0 and the other is 2.0 so uh 2.1 so uh you get speed there anyway guys uh on top of it you have a mesh um, you can install a 120 fan on top and you can have a 120 uh, radiator on top also I believe the 140 fan should work two of them will work also because there's a space for you to um, actually it will not work just 120 are gonna work so basically this case at the exception of the front the other sides are dedicated to 120 fans 120 millimeter fans so um, basically only the front you can have 140 120 are not very bad as long as you have about eight of them here you're gonna have enough fresh air going into your system so uh talking about this if you have any led you want to put there the it has been caught for you already or five inches will go there or four inches depending on which one and the size of how bulky they are it will go there so you can actually customize them and you have an led glowing on the side depends on what you want it to do so um another thing is the back if you break away the uh card slot is break away there's no way you can put it back inside unless you have one from your old system but there's still no way you can have it there if it is open it's open you're not going to be able to close it back unless you install uh, your graphics card or whatever card you want to install in your system there so it's just breakaway nothing you can do about it that is what it's just to save cost actually because you see you just you break it away and it's gone you can put it back there so that space is going to be open so those are where dust we go into your system from so that is why it's good to clean up your system once or twice maybe in a year in six months in two i i do i do clean mine every two two months once every two months and if you're interested you can just clean yours our drives at the back you can put two mini that is a ssd at the back here um and the hard drive bale is also there you can put one hard drive and one ssd on top also so those are the only places you can have drives two ssds or hdd the uh, 2.5 here and the 3.5 uh, down here only two so you have the option of having four storage of two different kinds the small and the big one four storage can be here and if you are interested in uh, converting this to a, a drive bell that is if you have more than two drives you want to use you can also convert it to a drive bay because there's a space for the screw to go there so guys um that is all on this case this is the msi m100r and uh it's a gaming case basically what i mean by gaming case is because of the enough airflow i think you can use it for basically anything not only gamers uh, are needing it so um, i'm gonna put it back together it's easy to do like i said if you have any question you can drop it in the comment down there i will be glad to answer the question putting it back is very easy just align it together hold it it snaps in it's closed so it's really really very very easy um i will try to show you the rgb fan the eight preset it has about eight and nine presets 
of colored installing it uh, that is set on the uh, uh, on the fan. I think it's on the controller. And um, I'll circle through it for you to see. I'll drop it somewhere in the video for you to see. So guys, uh, that is it from me today. This is the MSI case. A lovely case. I love them because of they are very, very compact and they are small and uh, it displays whatever is going on into your system. Graphics card wise, it takes as long as it can, as bulky as it can. It fits in. Don't worry about graphics card. Every kind of graphics card is going to fit into this case unless the one that has more than I, to be expected. But basically, all graphics card will fit into it. So that's it guys. This is the MSI 100R case. If you have any questions, uh, drop it in the comment down there below. If you want me to go into doing some DIY color painting for the front mesh and uh, maybe we want to look into the paints that can go inside, you can drop it in the, in the comment down there. And I'll be sure to look into that. If you have not subscribed, try to subscribe. Click the subscribe button. Um, notification. Why not? Because it's free. Subscribe. Help us to grow. Let's grow together. And we can have more fun together. So guys, thanks for being here. And I hope to see you in the next video. Odabo. Bye.